Turkish contemporary art institution SALT presents an in-depth retrospective look at one of Turkey's first photorealist painters, Nur Kocak. The exhibition is spread across both of SALT's galleries in Beyoğlu and Galata. While Galata spotlights Kocak's student works, Beyoğlu features her artistically mature productions. But the exhibition is also an investigation that reflects on a time period, from the 1960s until 2010s, its socio-political climate and cultural setting, within an artistic genre which was considered avant-garde back in the day. Turkey's art scene between the years 1960 and 1980 is a period when artists were looking for alternative individual and social identities apart from their national identities. They were trying to address the political upheaval of the time, using not only classical mediums such as painting and sculpture, but also non-traditional ways. Now, photorealism is one of these non-conventional ways. The movement came about in the late 1960s, within the same context as conceptual art, pop art and minimalism. Photorealist artists replicate photographs on canvases with extreme precision and accuracy. The exactness is often aided further by the use of an airbrush. This is also the same tool that revolutionized Kocak's career as an artist when she used it for the first time in her 1974 work, Vibra. She says this painting was a turning point of her practice. She later added two more perfume bottles to the both sides of this painting, the last of which, Shamad, completed in 1987. Nur Kocak's pop approach is also primarily feminist. This is what distinguishes her from others, especially her international peers. Among other photorealist artists, mainly those who were male and American, there was an interest in themes of machinery and objects of industry up until the 1980s, allowing us to rethink our changing modes of production. But unlike those artists, Kocak's work is predominantly infused with emotionality and emotive reflections on social and cultural issues. With no doubt, the objects of her paintings are a part of our consumer society. They are public. But at the same time, these are images of very personal items. When seen from this angle, such representations of these images transform our understanding of what is private. Topics that Kocak is interested in, I mean the objectification of the human body, sexism of consumer society, are still relevant today, unfortunately. But Kocak tackled these issues starting from the 1970s. She looked at our image culture and the issues inherent to that culture with a critical eye. She questioned the very meaning of the photographic image by considering various examples from the image culture she was exposed to. In shop windows, Kocak reflects on how women's lingerie as a once deemed private item became an object of overt display. In fetish objects, she uses visual elements from the women's magazines she followed in Paris while studying painting. Family Album is based on photographs of the artist's own family, taken between the 1930s and 50s, and it questions the image of ideal family in then young Turkish Republic. Because of its historical significance, Antman thinks it is very important that this exhibition meets especially the younger generations. Nur Kocak's student works here shouldn't be seen just as a coming-of-age story of an artist. The artistic ideology and perspective of the time period is in the background in these works. Kocak was classically trained in one of the most prestigious and back then the only art institution in Turkey, Mimar Sinan Fine Arts Academy. The contrast of these with her later work is drastic further emphasizing the great postmodern break from art as traditionally conceived in the 20th century. Nur Kocak is a painter who conceptualizes painting as a phenomenon. For example, she says she paints in an anti-art way. Why does she say that? Or better, take for instance composition as an element of painting. It's one of the most important elements for a painting to be original. But in Kocak's paintings, what do we see when we look at the images in monumental scales? 
We're just looking at a bottle of perfume, something already present in our image culture, or lipsticks. Here, there is an approach that exceeds the logic of composition and the search for individual style. But why should we call this art? It's exactly this question that the conceptual art asks. In my opinion, Nur Kocak paved the way for such a discussion within Turkish art scene. Sena Arslan, TRT World, Istanbul.